Today we will be making peanut butter balls. To begin with, we are going to need one bag of any type of chocolate chip, it doesn't matter, and one tablespoon of shortening. So, first we are going to take our chocolate chips, these are milk chocolate, and pour them, pour them into the little boiler. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so, yeah. Okay, okay, so we're going to just mix this up now. Okay. The double boiler keeps the chocolate chips from burning. Yeah, from burning. Now that the chocolate chips are almost melted, we can take... Our all vegetable shortening, one tablespoon, and stick it into there. The, the shortening makes the chocolate more liquid-like for a longer amount of time. Okay. Now we will mix this in. Next, to make our peanut butter filling, we will use ingredients such as Peanut butter, a scale, powdered sugar, vanilla, and melted butter. Next, we will add all of our ingredients to this bowl containing one cup of peanut butter and three cups of Rice Krispies. To that, we will add one stick of melted butter, another cup of peanut butter, a teaspoon of vanilla, and our one pound of powdered sugar. So first, we will add our powdered sugar in. Ooh, nice and yummy and sugary filled. Good enough. <laughs> and now we will add our peanut butter. Okay, so we will dump this in there. Nice and melt it all up. Goes perfect with popcorn. Okay, anyways, we're not making popcorn for today. Sorry, folks. Okay, so and now we will add our peanut butter. Mmm, nice and peanut buttery. Yep, this is what makes our filling well, the main part because it's in the name peanut butter balls, obviously. <laughs> we will add our tablespoon of vanilla. Okay, I hope all of you know how to measure right, otherwise I'm sorry. But I do, so that makes me very happy. So that's one teaspoon, kind of. <laughs> and then that's, now we will all mix this all up. It's a very interesting combination. Yeah, I don't know really. I just hope this turns out well. Are we ready to get our hands dirty? If you are, Great. So now we're gonna take we're gonna take some of this mixture and pour them into about one inch balls like this, and we're just gonna continue doing that till we run out of mixture. We can begin dipping our peanut butter balls into the melted milk chocolate. So we'll just scoop one up, drop it in, roll it around a few times, scoop it up again, make sure it's all coated, grab it carefully and just kind of drizzle it off, you know. And then we'll stick it onto this wax paper so they can cool off easily. And then we will just keep on continuing doing this on and on and on until we're done. <laughs> Thanks for joining me in my kitchen while I made peanut butter balls. <laughs>